Hi guys, this is Blowjos, and today I will be doing a, a, a multiple unboxing video. I came home and saw that I had these three packages in the mail. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm pretty sure I, I know what this one is. This one's from BBTS. I'm going to save that one for last. I got a little package here and a medium package down there. So let's uh, let's open up these packages and see what I got. So I'll just set the camera down over here. I think that should be good. Yeah. All right. So uh, try to make it so you can't see my name and address on there. Uh, I guess most of you already know my name, I guess, but. This one uh, is the smallest of the three boxes. Let's see what we got here. All right. So this is this is what I thought it was. This is uh, my first Masters of the Universe Classics figure. I got Dragon Blaster Skeletor. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This box is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, let's open this up and see Dragon Blaster Skeletor. So probably not the best first choice ever because he does have the painted arms as opposed to the molded arms. But uh, here we have Skeletor in box. I think I paid $25 for this guy off eBay. So there he is. He looks pretty cool. The paint job looks really nice. I uh, can't wait to crack this guy open and take a look at him. So that was Dragon Blaster Skeletor. Now this one's a bit heavier. I think... Oh, even says right on it what it is. So this is uh, my second Masters of the Universe Classics figure. I didn't expect these to ship so fast. I'll have to leave these guys good feedback. Um, I decided to go for something a little bit bigger. This one was a little bit more expensive. I think I still, I only paid $25 for them before shipping, but uh, because it is a fairly big package, um, it does cost a bit more to ship. But. Uh, Good packing in here. The guy did a lot of gave me a lot of packing peanuts. All right. So here is my second ever Masters of the Universe Classics figure, Gigor. So let's get this guy open. Um, now he did say that this one had been pulled out of the ship the shipping package before. Oh my goodness. This one's packed pretty tightly in here. Oh my goodness, this guy's enormous. All right, so here we have Gigor in box. Um, I'll just put Skeletor up here just to show you guys the difference if you haven't bought uh, Masters of the Universe Classics figure before. But crazy the size of this guy. I've uh, read reviews online say he's about 10 inches tall. And uh, I mean, he's got a lot of heft. Big figure, can't wait to crack him open and play around with him. But uh, those are my two first Masters of the Universe Classics figures. Now for the BBTS box. I love ordering from BBTS because uh, their shipping really isn't that, like it's not unreasonable at all and they ship really quickly. I bought these about a week ago and I mean, I live up in Canada so anything that ships fast is a good thing. I have a difficulty cutting through this plastic bit here. See if I can just rip this open. Whew. Gotta be careful when you're using these things, guys. I just stabbed myself. Not bleeding or anything, but. Here we go. And BBTS is really good for uh, when they ship things, they use this really high quality bubble wrap. All right, so we've got a little ad for their Transformers, and ooh, I didn't even know about this Vash the Stampede. Crap, I do have that Figma Samus, but I like that they throw this in there. It's nice to see uh, what else they have. My invoice, plastic toys. I think you probably just saw my shipping address, but that's okay. 
So I've been waiting for these. I'd gone to both my comic book stores and asked them if they'd got these, and they said they weren't getting them till November. And I was like, what? So I just went and ordered them online. The Prometheus Series 1 figures. So we've got the engineer in pressure suit here on the right, and the engineer in the chair suit on the left. I don't know if you can make it out there. The glare from the lamp and the fact that he's black are making it difficult, but... There he is in the package. He looks really good. Oh, I love the sculpts on these guys. And NECA has always been really good for sculpt and paint work. And here's the pressure suit. So I'm excited to crack these open. Um, see you, see the articulation. All, I've only been hearing good things about these figures. So that's about it for the unboxing. Um, throw the figures up here so you can get a good look of everything again. So there is a um, group shot of everything. Uh, I didn't pay anything for these actually. I uh, I used a PayPal balance on them, so I got all these for not for free, but you know, you sell some stuff on eBay and then you get some stuff back in return, you know. So good batch. Um, you know, I I really didn't pay that much for Gigor when you take into consideration that he was. 30 bucks when he first came out and then plus shipping on top of that would have cost a bit. I paid $40 shipped and I think Skeletor was 27 shipped because I had some eBay bucks and whatnot. But there it is guys, that's everything I got today. Um, probably do another one of these videos soon because this is really only half the stuff I bought with, uh, with my eBay balance. But that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day, guys. Bye.